Welcome back everyone to another video of World of Warship Legends. Today we're taking a look at the tier 6 alternative Japanese destroyer Shiratsuyu. In the background here we have a game of domination on Haven. It is going to be a tier 5 tier 6 match. This is the second video taking a look at the alternative Japanese destroyer line. Uh, for those of you that have been keeping track, we skipped over the tier 5 one. It uh, it really is just a worse Fabuki. It didn't have any consumables, any perks that uh, was really different than Fabuki. But I don't think that is the case with the Shiratsuyu. This ship uh, often gets a bad reputation because it's going up against the Akatsuki, which is pound for pound probably the strongest tech tier destroyer in the game. It, uh, it, it absolutely is great at throwing out torpedoes, but... I don't want people to sleep on this one. If this ship had been brought in, say, as you know, an Italian or some other country, and we saw these stats, I think we would be absolutely thrilled to have what this ship has. So digging into the comparison between the two ships. They both have the same exact detection of 4.7 kilometers. The Shiratsuyu has two torp launchers with four torpedoes each. While the Akatsuki has three launchers with three torpedoes, so a total uh, extra torpedo per salvo. Uh, another big difference is the reload time. Shiratsuyu has an 88.9 second reload time, while the Akatsuki has a 66.9 second. Same exact range and speed, 10 kilometers and 66 knots. Same damage as well, 16,900 per torpedo. Then looking at the max damage per salvo. Akatsuki comes in at 152,100 points. That means if you were to get maximum damage with and hit every one of your torpedoes, you could kill any ship in the game. Now, of course, that's not how it works. There's damage reduction. Um, you got to take a look at, but that is a huge number. Uh, while the Shiratsuyu has a max damage per salvo of 135,200 salvos per minute, 0.67. For the Shiratsuyu and 0.9 for the Akatsuki, uh, leaving the damage per minute to have uh, quite a bit of difference. Akatsuki's coming in at 136,000, while Shiratsuyu is coming in at 91,000. Now, it is key to point out. So you see, I have an asterisk next to those three stats. Shiratsuyu does include a reload booster for the torpedoes, and that is a huge tool. Um, you do get two of them per match, but you have to sacrifice the smoke to do so. So that trade-off is why I make sure to run Helsinger with the twist and track. Knowing which way that the enemy ships are located is going to be extremely valuable. Uh, because I don't have smoke, I have to be able to bail out quickly. Um, and that's, that's my key tactic that I use there. So digging into the game here, we got two early kills. Budiani decided to go broadside to us. Um, never go broadside when you're that close to a destroyer. You shouldn't be worried about torpedoes necessarily, but also be worried about their guns. We were able to rip him for four Citadel hits and go ahead and finish them off. Uh, we were also able to catch the Pensacola there with a couple of early torpedoes and uh, get us some early wins here. So as you can see, our team is uh, decently deployed, but no one's really pressing into the caps. At this point, I've lost almost health, half my health, and uh, we saw the terrible in there. We don't want to go in and dance with him. He could rip us to shreds in a heartbeat. Cruisers are a little too far behind for me to have enough confidence to go in there that if I do spot them, they'll be able to support me in time. So we're going to go ahead and take the wide route here. And uh, I think this is one of the better Japanese torpedo boat moves. Being out wide using your torpedoes, using your load detection as a way to uh, grab the attention of the enemy team and kind of wreck some havoc. As you can see here, there's just a bunch of battleships on this side and uh, it's going to allow us to kind of have some free reign. Quick note on the guns on this. Compared to the Akatsuki, we have one less gun, so this thing has three turrets. One of the turret only has one gun, the other two turrets have a total of two guns each. But it does have a little bit better reload time, 7.9 seconds versus 8.3 on the Akatsuki. So the guns aren't terrible, but again, they're not something you want to lean on. You're not going to 
strategize and and play make your moves based on you know winning a lot of battles with the guns it's going to be more of a okay i'm spotted i can't get out of this fight now i have to use my guns so as we go ahead and push back in here twist and track is showing us that that battleship is the closest ship take a look back there he's at 6.2 kilometers um, so we're still fairly confident that we don't need to worry about the enemy destroyer but then right there we see it switch real quickly and uh, I didn't notice it immediately early on uh, I was too busy trying to see if I was going to get that kill on the Nagato so here at this point close the, the Terrible is there we have to go ahead and open our guns fortunately our cruisers had moved up a little bit they wreck him absolutely wreck him for the shots there we get a couple more shots on him and then luckily we are able to finish him off without sacrificing too much more of our health points but at this point now we have three battleships that have shots at us and we want to go ahead and turn tail start kiting away weaving in and out and uh, make it harder for them to hit us um, we are you know probably one or two shells away from from just absolutely eating it and going back to port luckily we drop detection and now we really get to start cooking four battleships and one cruiser all that remain on the enemy team fantastic lineup for us like this is a match made in heaven first off we need to go ahead get the cap here at B and then we can go start having fun trying to uh, torment some battleships so far our team has only lost a cruiser um, and being this far in you know we played kind of conservative conservative early on which isn't a completely terrible move um, and here it's definitely gonna pay off our ships are alive we were able to burn down a lot of theirs it certainly helps that we have four kills early on in this game um, so great job by the entire western flank to play smart and stick together so when we uh, first had that engagement with the late turbo uh, we did see that we popped the reload booster that was mainly because I thought I was going to have to be shooting some suicide torpedoes uh, thought I was a goner there fortunately uh, we were able to survive but we didn't get the uh, the most out of the reload booster which is unfortunate uh, right here we do sh fire some more shells at the New Mexico probably another waste we know that there's a battleship right there behind the island between us and a hoping maybe he backs up into him uh, looking back at this video probably should have saved that last set of torpedoes because um, we do have you know quite a long reload time about another minute until we're gonna get any more so looking now our team has done a fantastic job about to push into sea all we have left is the Ganice now in New Mexico and it's just a cleanup job at this point overall I think uh, this is a solid destroyer uh, if it was any other country people would be thrilled with it the reload booster is a unique uh, tool that you can use to really up your damage output but you're gonna risk being spotted and not having a way out if you do get into a match with a lot of destroyers and get outnumbered um, overall I'm curious to hear what everyone else thinks. I I think this ship is right up there with the Akatsuki strength-wise. I can regularly get 100,000 plus damage games in it, and uh, it, it's absolute menace to a lot of players. As we finish up here, the Ganice now goes down. New Mexico finally deciding to come out, so we're going to go ahead fire some more torpedoes in his way. Uh, doesn't look like we're going to have enough time to get to use our reload booster for a second time. Cooldown still has another 25 seconds left. But we're going to go ahead and use this island here as a little bit of cover. The last thing we want to do is die at this point. Um, has been a fantastic game by the whole team all around. Get the Confederate, get the high caliber, and somehow the Sharn Horse steals our last kill in Kraken. Um, overall, though, this was a great team win. Let me know what you guys think of this ship and of this game in general. Leave your comments down below. If this is your first time coming in, please consider hitting subscribe. We'll have a lot more videos coming at you shortly. Have a good one.